In this video, I'll show you how to loop an animation several ways. The quickest way is to create a timeline action that starts a timeline. Now this will just jump back to the beginning. And you can see it here. If you wanted to go backwards first and then forwards, you would check this plane reverse box and then make a continue timeline action here with can restart timeline checked. So what this will do is jump back and forth. You can also jump to the beginning of this scene entirely by creating a timeline action that runs a jump to scene. And this will continually restart that main timeline. And if you had multiple other timelines here, you could control those with timeline actions as well. So keep in mind that when you have this button checked, the scene will loop for testing purposes, but it doesn't affect what happens when you preview. So let's say you want an animation to run three times. I'm going to look here at Mark Hunt's great solution. It's very simple and I'm going to put it in place in my hype document. So the first thing I'll do is paste this code in the head of my document. You can see here I have this code all set up. This sets the variable loop counter on the window scope to initialize as zero. Next thing I'll do is start a loop JavaScript function as a timeline action on the main timeline. And this is what will trigger a loop timeline to start and it will also keep track of the number of loops which have been played. So we can see this function code here first time it plays the loop counter value increments by one so the first time the main timeline function has been crossed over the timeline action has been crossed over the value will be one and then two and then on its last playthrough the value will be three and this code here ensures that if this loop counter value is less than or equal to three we will play loop but once it hits three, this will not play. So switching over to hype again, I'm going to show you how this looks. We've got a JavaScript function playing this loop function. And this is everything from the forums post. And then in our loop timeline, we're playing a simple animation that also runs loop at the end. So you can visualize this in the developer console. I printed out a counter for this loop counter value. So when you play this, you'll see the value of loop counter rise each time the timeline plays.